everybody, and we welcome you ringside. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we're just about ready for action. Davis's belief that he can overcome anything is showing through. He's bubbling over with confidence. Roberto Duran's ring walk, not exactly full of fanfare or intensity. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. Just the opening round of 12 scheduled for tonight's bout. Good, solid right hand by the baby face assassin. A stinging uppercut by Davis. Teddy, when a southpaw faces an orthodox fighter, he has some natural advantages. But one of them just comes from the fight that the righty doesn't see a lot of lefties, right? Well, that's exactly right. He doesn't have much time to practice against the southpaw, so it doesn't feel comfortable. It doesn't feel comfortable before you know it. You're not doing things that you should be doing. You see him holding on. That's what you want to be. Good step back counter punch there. Locks that belt line well. Oh, Davis is out. able to land a nice clean left hand. Davis is making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Able to cover up that gut. Where's the body, kid? Body shot! Halfway through round number one. Duran's blocking ability is doing well for him there. The baby faced assassin stumbles back. He just got hurt. Teddy, explain this to me. Hey, this fighter was just staggered and stunned. Now all of a sudden he's defending beautifully. Yeah, because he's on instincts now. Before he was thinking, he was overthinking. That happens out in life in a lot of places. And now he's not. Now just naturally, instinctively, survival mode is there. He's doing all the things, Joe, that he was taught in the gym. Things he couldn't do before because he was worried about doing them. He had too many things clogging his head. Roberto Duran with a big left hand. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Davis. They're not exactly getting to know each other. They're just beating the hell out of each other early on here. Yeah, Joe, this keeps up. They're both going to have headaches, and we're going to have one of the great fights to talk about. Yeah, that's it. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Roberto Duran. That's a big uppercut that just crashed home. Ten clicks of the talk. On the mark with a straight left hand. Get some water. 
good. You're okay. Three for Now listen. You threw a white punch and he caught you. Right now? Listen, I'm not gonna stand here and watch you take those shots, you understand me? Let's see some defense and more punches. Nice, nice, good work, kid. I want to see you double up that. Well, he got caught by a lucky punch in that last round. It did do some damage, but now you can tell he's right back where he wants to be, fresh and ready as we start this round. I don't take lightly when a guy gets dropped, but you know what? I think he was more embarrassed than he was hurt. Duran with a huge left hand. Good defense, just covering up down low. Nice! Roberto Duran's in a... Oh! He is not meant for life on the outside there, and he just paid the price. He goes down. Because he didn't make his mind up. If you're not going to work out in front, get to a distance where you're safe. He stood there at a bad distance. No man's land. Roberto Duran showing you what he is made of, getting up off the canvas after being knocked down. You see him zeroing in with that left hand to the body. Roberto Duran's inability to hit the target is really making him look silly right now. He's throwing plenty of punches, just none of them are landing. No, he's throwing them too wide, too far away. And what's going to be worse. He is not in good shape. He could be on. Oh, and there you go. And he goes down for a second time. Does he have enough this time to rise up and continue on? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. The fight is over. Davis is bombs away, worked again. Knockout victory for him.